My name is Yuru Huang. Our time in handwriting is the exhibition at Houston Public Library Central Building. This exhibition is about handwriting. See, spontaneous handwriting conveys the human touch, something disappearing in the digital age. Handwritings are like lines that convey meanings. Almost everyone can draw such lines. I mean, almost everyone can write by hand, and most people have a word that they can share with others. For nearly 20 years, more than 200 people from all backgrounds did just that. They shared. They shared their words taken from their life experience by casting lines that convey meanings. I mean, by sharing their life experience with others in their handwritings. See, the Nobel laureate share his wisdom. The six-year-old Syrian refugee calling out to his mom. Across languages and ideologies, these collected handwritings bear witness to the complexity of our time. The idea to write on top of a shape of human body stemmed from my experience collecting Goshu Yin at Japanese temples, just like the monk placing his human touch over the seal of the temple where houses his religion. This project invites people to place a human touch over a silhouette of the human body which houses our mind. The symbol of a human body seen in this project started with something looks like the sign in the public space. Over the years, it evolved. After inviting Taiwanese immigrants to write not words but digits on their chopsticks for the mural project, I replaced the symbol of human body with the shape of letter I, which is an imaginary and complex symbol on mass. The shape evoked metaphorical implications in cultural heritage around the world. Here you can see human handwriting in many languages and ideologies casting shadows onto a changing landscape, crafted with sand, clay, and natural elements. This piece titled, Selfish Taken from Their Inner Self. Choosing a few words from your life experience and write them over a symbol of human body is a process resembles taking a selfie. When a street protester hastily wrote his slogan over a shape of human body, he created a selfie from his inner self. I place handwriting in layers when viewers walk from one side of the artwork, they can see words in different ideologies echoing each other or casting shadows over each other, blocking each other. Over the years, I have placed collections of handwriting onto objects that carried a metaphoric implication such as the kite, the lantern, the shirt, the sand or the door. Located next to a war memorial, the talking door stems from the idea that every new experience in life can be represented by the image of a door. One side of the door is painted with the dreadful image of a wall, while the other side of the door is covered with handwritings in various languages reflecting different ideologies. Over the years, people left their handwritings with the project, also left their stories on these folding diaries. See the words written by the native people in Australia. The other side of the door, the other side of the page, the other side of the ocean, mother's poem, folding and unfolding, our time in handwriting.